Huge news for Beyond Meat Stock. What is going on, guys? This is breaking news. It just came out this morning. I had no plans of making this video. I was getting ready to make my normal Wednesday video like I normally did this morning. I was getting it all set up. And then I saw this come out this morning and I decided I absolutely 100% have to do a video on this because I've covered Beyond Meat on the channel a few different times. And this is just earth shattering, earth breaking news. I am so excited. I am so much more bullish on this company now after watching this deal go through, after seeing this come out this morning. And I'm just like, how can I not cover it? So here we are. I'm not sure if we're going to do a Tuesday upload, like really breaking news, or we're going to do a double upload tomorrow on Wednesday. But the point is you're going to get some extra content. You're going to get some extra value out of this. We're going to cover what happened with Beyond Meat and what I think is going to happen with this company now, why I think this is a phenomenal deal. I am so excited. Everything in between. So because I'm giving you guys more value this week, because I'm putting more time into this, please guys, if you would like this video, that would really help me out a massive way. And I would appreciate it so, so much. Also, if you want to see more videos like this, I will do more breaking news videos if you guys want me to. Please subscribe to the channel. Let me know down in the comments what you think of everything that we're going to talk about today. I'd love to hear from you guys as always, and let's get right into it. Beyond Meat shares to a 31% as company teams up with PepsiCo to make plant-based snacks and drinks. Beyond Meat and PepsiCo are forming a joint venture to sell new plant-based snacks and drinks. Financial terms of partnership have not been disclosed. Operations will be managed with, through a limited liability corporation called The Planet Partnership. Beyond Meat and PepsiCo announced Tuesday that they formed a joint venture to create, produce, and market snacks and drinks with plant-based substitutes. Shares of Beyond Meat jumped more than 31% in the morning trading on the news, while Pepsi stock rose about 1%. The run in Beyond Meat may have been helped by hedge funds rushing to cover their bets against the stock. This this is definitely true. As we talked about in one of my last videos, I talked about Beyond Meat. This was a heavily, heavily shorted stock, so it does not surprise me that this deal pushed this thing through the roof at all. A trend unfolding in May heavily shorted names this year. More than 38% of Beyond Meat shares available for trading are sold short, according to FactSet. A lot. Like we talked about before in my last video, a lot, a lot, a lot of shares of Beyond Meat are shorted, okay? The partnership gives Beyond a relative newcomer to the food world, a chance to leverage Pepsi production and marketing expertise for new products. For its part, Pepsi can deep its investment in plant-based categories, which are growing increasingly crowded, while working with one of the top creators of meat substitutes. Beyond Meat controls about 13% of the meat alternatives category in the United States, according to estimates from Jefferies. PepsiCo represents the ideal partner for us in this exciting endeavor, one of global reach and importance, Beyond Meat CEO Ethan Brown said in a statement. Operations will be managed through a limited liability corporation called the Planet Partnership. Financial terms were not disclosed. The partnership also helps Pepsi work towards its sustainable goals. Last year, the company signed the United Nations Pledge, committing to set science-based emissions reduced targets. A 2019 report from the UN found that food system contributes to 37% of greenhouse gas emissions. In recent years, Pepsi also has has been trying to cut down the amount of sugar in its products and add healthier snacks and drinks to its portfolio. Plant-based proteins represent an exciting growth opportunity for us, a new frontier in our efforts to build a more sustainable food system and be a positive force for people and the planet while meeting customer demand for an expanded portfolio of more nutritious products. Ram Kirsten, Pepsi's global chief commercial operating officer said in a statement. JP Morgan analyst Ken Goldman said in a note to clients that he views the partnership as an incremental positive for beyond, but he thinks that the stock move has overshot the actual opportunity. I disagree. We'll see what happens. We can agree to disagree. Anyway, I digress. We merely question how big the market size is for these products, Goldman wrote. Is there a huge uncounted population clamoring for vegan Doritos? Probably not, in our opinion, and surely not big enough to justify this kind of stock move. We're going to talk about this later, of what I think this could mean for something like vegan Doritos. You'll get the idea later on. Let's get back to the article. Shares of PepsiCo are roughly flat over the last year, giving it a market value of $196 billion. The food and beverage giant has seen higher sales during the pandemic, thanks to the consumer stockpiling and less exposure to away-from-home occasions than its rival Coca-Cola. As of Monday's close, Beyond stock has risen more than 32% in the last year, despite the blow to its business by the virus pandemic, which hurt its sales to restaurants. The company has a market value of $9.95 billion. Guys, guys. This is massive. I am so, so excited for this deal. Like, I can't even begin to tell you about it. There's so many different reasons, but I'm gonna highlight just some of the main ones right here. I know this video is not very long, but this is breaking news. I didn't really have any script. I didn't have anything planned for this. We're literally just going over my initial thoughts. So you're basically seeing this as close to live as you can. So to start off, first of the branding that comes with this, okay? Think of every single drink maker out there, all right? What are the two that come to mind? Coca-Cola and Pepsi, those are the first two that come to my mind. Their branding is fantastic. When you go to a restaurant, 
get a soda? What do you ask? Do you have Coke or Pepsi products? That's very common that people ask that. So Beyond Meat is just going to get even more branding than they already have. Like I've talked about before, I feel like Beyond in the plant-based meat industry has the best branding out of all its competitors right now. Granted, that can change over time, but I definitely think that right now Beyond has the best branding in this space. The, for, again, the market size massive they're going after. Keep an eye on. So there can be multiple players in this field. There can be multiple top dogs in this field, I feel like. That's how big this space is. So the branding, that's just going to push them over the top and more and more people are going to be reached out to. More and more people are going to be touched by Beyond Meat products. It's honestly going to be a win-win for all parties involved. I think this is great for the Pepsi side. I think this is great for the Beyond side. Moving on to the second point, the healthy customers that are going to come with this. Now, what do I mean by that? So healthy customers, some people, they really want to be healthy. They don't have a desire to be a vegan per se, but they might want to eat chips. They might want to eat all these other things. They might want to have these drinks, all this stuff like that, but they just simply don't really want want to eat them because they're not the healthiest things for you. There might be a lot of fat in them. So now if they partner with Beyond, then this provides a healthier alternative. This could completely change the food industry as we could even think. Uh, it's I can't even talk about it. I'm so excited. My mind is completely blown. So now people are going to be eating different snacks, not just plant-based meats from Beyond. And that's just going to continue to push this company more. And this is going to push this stock price and this market cap to even newer highs. So, so excited for this, guys. This is ridiculous. Anyway, the last point here I just wanted to cover. This is, like I just said, it's changing the food industry as we know it. This is gonna be one of the rare times that things are gonna be completely changed and I really believe we're gonna look back in five or 10 years and we're gonna be completely, completely blown away with how the food industry looks in 10 years compared to today. It's just one of those things, it's a once in a hundred years changing event, it's just gonna really change everything and I'm super excited for this. I have so much more confidence in this management team now and this company after getting this deal done because this is like A1 innovation in my opinion. I am super Super excited and it's just going to pan out great for them. Obviously, do your own research, develop your own opinions. Congrats to all the Beyond Meat shareholders out there. I hope you guys enjoyed this breaking news. I really hope you got some value out of it. If you do, please drop a like on the video. That really does help out the channel in a massive way and I appreciate every single one of you that do that to help me out. Also, remember to subscribe if you haven't already if you want to see more like this. Let me know down in the comments if you own Beyond Meat, how many shares you own, what your cost basis is, all those things. I would love to hear from you guys in the comments and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video.